Sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth. The Super Bowl is underway. secondary and Nick Collins is one of the best he has great instincts for anticipating where a play is going and continually shows terrific closing speed 
Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. The defense was coming with the heat on that play. But you'd never know it if you were watching the quarterback. He stood in there strong, completely relaxed, and made that defense pay that time. First down and 10. He didn't get back to the line. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Now they've got a second and 13 coming up. Ball on the 33-yard line. Number 13 with the toss. They tackle him for a loss. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want. But ultimately, this game comes down to one big man against another big man. And that time, the defense is big men. They won the battle. They'll face third down again here. Loads it up. Looking end zone. He's got it. Touchdown. The attempted pick comes up empty, and it goes for a huge gain. Uh, he has a reputation for going after the ball aggressively. And sometimes he's going to get burned. You just have to hope that the safety has your back on a play like that. And that can't make the safety too happy, putting them on an island out there. Yeah, I guess. But it really kind of goes with the territory when you have an aggressive corner. I think most of the time a safety can respect that. Number six adds the extra point. Kansas City up seven points. Kansas City will be kicking off. Williams stands back to field the kick. Here we go. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Let's see what they do with the play calling here. The last thing you can afford to have happen right now after that big drive is to go three and out. And from the University of Cal Berkeley, onto the field steps the seventh-year quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. He was the third best in 2010 with a 101.2 passer rating. Looking for a man. He's going to his right. Throws. Personal foul. The stop Face was made by defense. Eric Berry. First down. And so the defense gives up some yards after the flag. Gus, everybody knows that football is a game of emotion. But unchecked emotion is a bad thing. You have to be able to control yourself on the football field. That's a big mistake. Let's take a look at the key players now. And chief among them is Greg Jennings out of Western Michigan, who has emerged as the go-to guy of this offense. Yeah, there's a lot of talent out there, especially among the wide receivers. And yet, you're right, Gus. Greg Jennings has emerged as the favorite target because of his ability to catch any ball. He can go deep, and he can go get those tough catches over the middle as well. And Chris, he is definitely primed to be a performer to watch in this one. He's dropped down around the 45-yard line by number 24.
Third and short situation now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert. They'll throw for the first. He drops the easy pick. Time to introduce the starters on defense. And part of the group is the emerging Brandon Flowers out of Virginia Tech. He is tough, crisp, fast, and loves to compete. Yeah, and that's what sets him apart, Gus. A lot of cornerbacks are fast, but Brandon Flowers combines that speed with a certain fearlessness. He is not afraid of contact. And they already have the lead. This field position could set them up to put even more points on the board. Ball on their own 47. Grant gets the ball. Demario Williams was there to bring him down. I expected a pass there, Chris. Well, I understand you don't want to get completely one-dimensional, but at some point you have to crank it up and try and make some plays, and I think that time has passed. Passing situation for the offense here on third down and long. Under heavy pressure. Scrambles away from the rush. And they get to him. It's fourth and long now after the sack. The ball goes into the end zone. Touchback. They'll take over at the 20. And they come back onto the field, still up a score. Well, it's definitely late in the game, but I still expect them to come out and try and move the football down the field. I always thought as an offensive player, it's much easier to seal the deal on the offensive side than to have to be on the sideline and watch your defense. Charles, the ball carry. Chris Jenkins was there for the stop. Just about three yards there. Now they're facing second and seven. He's dropped, and that's a huge sack. So, third and nine coming up right here. Ball on their own 21. The halfback with the carry. Clay Matthews was there to bring him down. Fourth down. The Chiefs lining up to punt. Yeah. 
Williams starts running at the 32. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. They'll get the ball here at the 38. First down, 10 to go. Flips it out short to his left. He can't come up with it. Incomplete pass. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Grant off the left side. Gains his way to midfield. Eric Berry was there for the stop. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball at midfield. Short throw to the left. He's brought down around the 35-yard line by Carr. And we'll have a first down and 10. Ball on the 35. Fires a laser down the middle. And the tackle was made by Eric Berry. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. It's first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. Throws to his left. Another catch on this drive. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. And it is a good catch. Just made a big-time play for his team in a key situation. First and goal. The ball is on the nine. Grant takes it left. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. And they need just eight for the score. Looks left. Here's a short pass. Defense pushes him out of bounds at the two. Seven-yard gain on the play. So here it is, crucial third down as they look for the lead. He's searching for a receiver. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. This one from 19 yards, basically like kicking an extra point. And he makes it. So after that kick, the score is now the Packers 14, the Chiefs 14.
Green Bay is ready to kick this one off. Charles is deep, looking to return the kickoff. The stop was made by A.J. Hawk. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. They'll set up shop at the 19. First down and 10. Charles gets the call. And he's tackled right around the 24-yard line by Shields. Second down and five to go. And with that, the two-minute warning is reached. It's second and five here. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Passes out to his right. Yeah, but you have to be careful making that throw. Sometimes those are easily intercepted. He did a good job getting out of there, but that throw was dangerous. Third down and five to go. Ball on their own 24. They hand it off again. And with that run, his team will have a fresh set of downs to work with. He's going to run for it, and he's got her own. And the tackle was made by A.J. Hawk. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. Surveys the field. Can't hang on. It's knocked loose. Hill made solid contact and popped the ball out of there. Yeah, he got rocked and the ball rolled. There was nothing left after that hit. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They'll throw for the first. It's a quarterback sack. I don't think there's any play in football that's prettier than a perfectly executed blitz. If you time out the snap count, if you disguise it, if you don't tip it to the quarterback, you end up with results like that. Big sacks, big plays. It's fourth down. The Chiefs are lining up to punt this one away. Williams fields it at the 22. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. The offense will start at the 27. First down, 10 to go. Grant on the handoff.
There's a Packers player making his way to the bench. And two yards away here on second down. Still looking for an open man. And it's tipped away. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. They'll throw for the first. Kendrick Lewis was there to bring him down. This thing's starting to feel like overtime, isn't it? But here we go. This offense is going to get one last opportunity to take it down the field and win it. Fourth down. The Packers ready to punt this one away. Number 21 will start his return at 24. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Ops for a short throw with a one-handed catch. Uses a stiff arm, but the defender is still able to drop him. Looks like he's a bit shaken up on that one. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. The ball is on their own 40. Short pass to his left. He's wrestled down right around the 46-yard line by Williams. Pass play gives them a gain of six. Little out route against zone coverage. Typically, zone coverages will give you that almost all the time. They're more defending the deep pass. Brings up second down and five. Ball on their own, 46. Flips it out short. That pass rush didn't get there that time, but it got close enough to distract the quarterback and force him into a bad throw. Third down now, five yards to go. Ball on their own, 46. Dumps it out left. 
He's tackled around the 47-yard line by Lewis. He's dragged down on the play. Clay Matthews has 10 sacks this year. And they got him. They'll hurry back to the line. Defenses have dominated regulation. We'll see if the offenses can get it popping in overtime. Welcome back to Green Bay. Green Bay gets ready to kick it away. Number 21 stands back to field the kick and takes off from his own goal line. Gets to about the 24 before going down. A.J. Hawk was there for the stop. And we'll have a first down in 10. He doesn't get back to the line. Seems like the defensive pressure has him a little rattled out there, Chris. Yeah, it does. certainly seems that way. He's been quick to tuck and run rather than sitting in the pocket and finding the open man. No question about it, but it's got to be hard to be comfortable in that pocket when it keeps collapsing around him. Second down now, 12 to go. So they have the ball on their own 21. A pickup of about seven. Just about four yards shy of the first here on third down. He goes down. Sack. So it's fourth down. The Chiefs line up to punt. Williams will take off at the 31. That was really a good effort. There wasn't a ton of room for him to run, but he was able to get up the field, get a few yards. You never get upset with a punt return guy like that. It wasn't spectacular, but he got the job done. Grant, the ball carrier. He makes his way to about the 45. Tom Bahali was there to bring him down. Short yardage situation here, second and a yard. They give it off here. He's dropped down at about the 49-yard line by number 98. It's first and 10. Straight up the middle, got room! He's brought down around the 32-yard line by number 24.
So they line up at the 32. Rodgers with the draw play. Gets out to around the 18. Eric Berry was there for the stop. First down and 10. Ball on the 18. Throws to his left. The pass is broken up. What a play. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. And the ball on the 18-yard line. And looks left. Throws. They got it. This one is over. And this one will end with a touchdown. That was awesome. Just awesome. What a great way to end this one. What a moment for every single one of these men who have dreamed from the very first time they put on a helmet what it would be like to live this moment. The sound of the final whistle, a declaration of victory, while fireworks bellow high in the night sky around them. This moment, witnessed by the world, when they can truly call themselves Super Bowl champions. This game's big plays and magical moments are now part of NFL lore to be replayed over and over again. A highlight reel of charged memories that show that this team was capable of taking hold of this moment, capable of becoming historic. And on the other sideline, the creep of doubt and second guessing brought on by heartbreak that they came within one win of immortality only to see the stars had written a different script. One in which their daydreams of victory were dashed. What a feeling for these players, an ongoing sense of accomplishment, the carry.